want to show today, um, I have um, created three um, experimental um, pro jobs. Um, so as you have seen, the uh, Tecton pipelines created by Hashart, they contain a lot of checks like the pre-commit, um, like the PyTest, um, and so on and so on. They all run as part of a, for example, build pipeline or as a uh, Tecton release pipeline. And uh, what I've started now is that I um, turned them into prow jobs. Um, there might be one or two uh, advantages uh, to this, and uh, there's a significant um, disadvantage to that. Um, so in general, the pro jobs run in the same or in a separate namespace, so uh, from same or separate from pro. Um, so they will not go into the AI CUE pipeline namespace. Is that good or not? I don't know. Um, but uh, one of the advantages is that they um, just run a pod. So the whole um, conditional stuff and the whole uh, integration and sequence of a Tecton pipeline is basically eliminated. We just uh, run that one part with what whatever is in there. Um, if we're going to have a look at the config of Pro, you see stuff like that. We are just using the same container image as the Tecton pipeline. We are using the same commands as uh, the Tecton pipeline. So it's basically one-on-one -on -one, uh, translation from Tecton to uh, Pro job. And um, if you look really careful, you can see the main disadvantage of all that stuff in Pro. Uh, we need to define the uh, jobs per repository, not per organization or per uh, a general uh, as a general um, configuration thing. It needs to be done per uh, repository. And I think that is something that I said before in, in one of the Scrum calls. If you imagine our 150 repositories, and if you imagine that we have uh, five to um, uh, three to five uh, jobs per repository, that's a big bunch of YAML that we get into this uh, config file, uh, which is not really handle, handy. Um, might be a big disadvantage in, in this case. Um, what else we got? Uh, ah, right. I introduced um, one new thing. So, uh, as I said, the uh, pre-commit, I, I use the same images as in the Tecton pipelines. Um, for PyTest, uh, the same. I think this is uh, uh, um, UBI 8, Python 3, 8 based um, image that is being created by the build pipeline. Um, for some, I, I create uh, new um, scripts. Um, this is just a shell script, which is basically doing pip end no, micro pip env uh, install dash dash dev to install all the dependencies and then run um, um, PyTest. Um, for pre-commit, I didn't do that because it's just one single command. Might also be a little bit of a disadvantage with the pro job, kind of obfuscate is what's really happening. In a Tecton pipeline, you have two separate steps. One is calling out um, to micro pip env to install dependencies. Second is calling to pip env to PyTest, really run the tests. Mm, as a net addition, I have the test uh, customized build script, which is basically running for all the directories in a repository and customized build. Um, that little extra stuff here is just ignoring the KSOPS plugin and it's uh, filtering out some uh, <laughs> some repository I don't want to debug and test, but it's basically lazy gurn over here. Um, and this um, integration step is um, just run on the TOS application um, repository over here. Uh, TOS application uh, repository. This customized step is checking each and every uh, pull request. It is using an operate first um, toolbox container that contains um, the customized binary, the the TOPS um, plugin that we need, and is basically just calling the test customize build script. 
Um, this is uh, the test customized build script is obviously per repository. So this script is just um, valid for the TOS application um, repository. The operate first people could or should have their own. They need to have their own test customized build script in, in their repository. But again, the job could be used for, for both repositories if you want to. Uh, I guess that's it. Um, if you head over to a pull request in a Toth application, you basically see that there is new context in the status called AICOE uh, Pro, um, customized build or pre-commit or um, PyTest. Um, they could be used um, or they are enabled uh, by now for, for three repositories. We can use them all over the place if we want to, but we should have a discussion about the sheer amount of YAML that we need to maintain in that case. That is really ugly somehow. Mm. That's it. Any any questions? Any comments? First question. Uh, so we we have added these things, uh, so these checks on few of the repositories now, but these are not, uh, the, the these will not uh, stop from merging them, right? Like they, they are not a permanent check. Like uh, like we define in config file, these few of the checks should be completed, then only the tide will merge them. If uh, are these the required ones right now? I think they are not, right? Just wanted to clear. Um, they. Uh, they are somehow required. I don't know why, actually. I think because I declared them to be pre-submit uh, jobs mm -hmm. yeah, for the TOS application repository, they are required in this repository. Oh, so okay. Tight will have a look at that, mm -hmm. and they, they are required. But uh, again, it's a per-repository thing. Um, I think we can turn that off if, if it's uh, hindering us somehow. Mm -hmm. uh, second question, uh, the pre-submit, because these are pre-submit jobs, uh, th there is the option, if you if you want, we can have it on the whole organization, but that we haven't done it because it will then it will be uh, all across the repositories, even in those repositories in which the pre-submit, uh, so pre-commit is not needed, even there it will go. That's why we haven't done it on the organization level, right? Um, I'm unsure about that. The The first one was a statement. We can have pre-submit jobs in pro per organization. That's what you said? Yes. Oh, okay. That is new to me. Um, if so, um, it would be good. If so, yes, you are right. We don't want every job to be pre -organi per organization. Yeah. Pre-commit might be the one that is valuable to all the repositories, but I'm unsure about that. I actually did not have a look at at all yeah. the configs. Yeah, I'm also unsure about it. Like I had a look, but then I thought if we enable it in the whole organization, then it will fail on few other repositories which doesn't have the configuration file. Then we have to keep a default configuration file somewhere. Uh, it seems like. Yeah, a, uh, well, yeah. if it's just like one or two or three repositories which will fail on pre-commit, then we should add the pre-commit uh, config file, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, um, can you imagine a repository that is not benefiting from pre-commit? Yes, the Talks. I think there's a talks repository. Yes. Any other? Hmm. No. Let's see. Um, f from my point of view, this is an experiment. Um, if you look at the execution time of the uh, pre-commit, I think in the tacked on pipeline, it takes about one or two minutes, and in, in uh, pro, it takes uh, something like 20 or 30 seconds. Yes. That might be an advantage to cut down um, runtime of a pipeline, but that's yes, definitely. the single big is that one to track us. Yeah. So for the third thing, uh, third like comment slash question, uh, we have that customized script, uh, test script, uh, which which resides in the explicit repository, like for top application, there's a uh, test customized build uh, for, for to run that, right? Uh, as this is a pod, 
if we if we inject the pod with a secret of gpg private key, private key uh, for toth application then we can update the script uh, for uh, to run case ops as well right uh, this was one of the questions from operate frost uh, like team Humer has asked us so we we were discussing about this like how can we make it work so you had already opened a pull request and operate first apps repository for this for so that they can also use it and yes. uh, they were they were also asking like if um, if they can uh, include say a case ops and i said like maybe the, if you inject into the pod it might work the uh, uh any thoughts yeah no. Yes, um, exactly. Um, a, I simply don't know how to do that. So uh, my customized knowledge is uh, pretty limited. Um, but uh, Tom Kufa was uh, very helpful. Maybe he knows how to do that. And um, B, we can um, obviously, um, damn it. I don't want to have a look at the secrets. I want to have a look at the config. Mm -hmm. Uh, pro. So uh, we can add uh, environment variables. I mean, it's it's just a pod uh, that is being yeah. configured in in this section. So um, yes, we can uh, create a secret with the GPG key. Yes, we can inject that as an environment variable into this pod and and uh, really use it with uh, customize. I I just don't know how to do it. Um, it felt to me like. Um, Let's figure out if we want to have more uh, pro-based uh, CI jobs, and if so, uh, which ones. And um, customize, uh, test customize build seems to be a valuable job, um, at least for the two, three, four manifest uh, repositories that we have. So let's, let's do that. Yeah, this is great. Thanks, Christoph. Thank you. Any other question? Cool. Thanks, guys.